Hey there, we're so glad you're here. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do a DIY jute chain lampshade upgrade. So we're looking at using either something you have around the house or if you want to buy a new one, it basically just gives a little bit of texture and a little bit of interest to a basic lampshade. I will link all the supplies in the description of this video and you can also find them on my Instagram page which can be found at Brook and Willow Co. I will be linking them under my stories. Okay, for supplies, you're gonna need some wooden clothes pins. You're gonna need a good strong glue. I prefer this LePage contact cement. It's low odor, it dries really quickly and it holds very strong. You're going to need a crochet hook. And if this is your first one, then you can order these individually but you're going to want it to be plastic and 11.5 millimeters or a size P is what you need. You're going to need some jute twine. Make sure that it's five millimeters and at least 150 feet long. And lastly, you're going to need some push pins with the plastic nub at the end. So when you select your lampshade, just make sure that it's flat. It can be any size base that you want, as long as it's a nice, flat, smooth surface. Definitely a canvas material is going to be a lot easier to work with than a plastic lampshade. You're going to need to select a spot that is the back of the lampshade. This is going to be where you're starting and finishing your project. So we're gonna start by practicing the basic chain or a foundation chain with crochet. You're going to hold the yarn in your hands like this. You're going to take the end to your right and wrap it around your pointer finger twice, like so. You're then going to take the left one and bring it over the right, and then take the left one and bring it over the right again. And then you're going to stick your hook in that hole and tighten it. You now have formed a slip knot, and this is the beginning of your project. We'll show you this again. So once again, you're gonna wrap it around your finger twice, take the loop on the left, bring it over the first loop, and then take the loop on your left again and bring it all the way around your finger. And now underneath your finger, you have a hole. You're gonna take your hook, stick it through that hole from right to left and tighten. And now you're ready to begin your chain. To start here, you're gonna take your working yarn in your left hand and you're going to hold up your first two fingers. Again, take it in your left hand, hold it up with your first two fingers. I would suggest going back and trying that out a few times until you get the hang of holding the yarn in your left hand that way. Next, you're gonna take the yarn that's in your left hand, you're gonna wrap the hook around it and bring it through underneath. Again, you're going to take the yarn in your left hand, take your hook, wrap it around, and bring it down through that hole that's underneath. This is now creating a chain, as you can see. So you just keep repeating that same motion. It might be a little bit sticky, but you keep taking your yarn, wrap it around so the yarn's in front, and then you pull it through to create a chain. I would suggest doing this a number of times until you're able to get your chains fairly even because you want this to look pretty uniform when you stick it onto your lampshade. So don't be afraid to unravel your work. Try it again. This jute's really strong. It can stand up to a lot of wear. So just keep practicing until you're really confident with your chains and then you can get started with the long chain that you're going to use for the lampshade. So next you're just gonna keep making your chain until you reach the desired length for your project. I've linked a calculation below that can help you estimate how many chains that you'll need, but you might just need to keep taking your chain and wrapping it around your lampshade until you get the length that you desire. Once you've got your chain as long as you want it, you need to go through and just kind of make sure that all of your links are approximately the same size. Even though I've made millions of chains in my lifetime, I still happen to have some that were bigger and some that were smaller, just because jute is kind of hard to work with, at least it was for me. It's kind of a tougher fiber, and so I think you're just more prone to having some inconsistency. So just go through the whole length of your project and try and t give a tug here and there to make sure that they're all approximately the same size. 
So now you're going to grab your push pin and you're going to start attaching your chain to the lampshade with the flat side of the chain facing the shade. This just makes sure that you have a little bit more surface area to apply the glue. We aren't going to be gluing it yet. You're going to just take your pins and you're going to slowly wrap the chain around the shade, entering your pins about every five chains. This just gives you an idea of whether you have enough rope and it gets the three rows in line. So just keep going along, attaching your chain and pinning it to the shade. Once you get to the end of the first row, you're going to take your chain and you're going to gently put it up above the first chain of your row, secure it with a pin near to where the two rows join. You might have a seam there like I do, so just kind of try and get it in wherever you can. And then you're going to want to take the chain and just put it up above. Continuing on in the same way until you have three rows of the jute chain going around the base of your lampshade. Once you finish all three rows, you're going to take the very end of your chain and you're going to secure it with the pin and then cut your yarn so that you have about 12 inches left and you're going to take the end and you're going to stick it down through the other rows of chains to secure it in place. You might have to remove a pin or two here and there in order to do this, but this just kind of makes sure that that end is hidden and out of your way. To finish off, I just took the beginning strand and the end strand and I just tied it in a simple knot. Once you have all the rope glued, you're really not going to have to worry about it falling apart. And it's not like the lamp is something that you're going to be handling a whole lot. So as long as you have a simple knot in there, you can then go and weave it through potentially one more time through the first chain. And then you can just cut the rope. At the very end, I'll show you how to add a bit of glue just to make sure that this doesn't shift around too much on you. The last step of your process is going to take your glue and this one comes with a brush applicator which I found super handy. Otherwise you would probably have to get a paintbrush to use just so that you can get it in behind the chains. And you're going to start at the very beginning where you have your first chain and that clothespin that you put on. You're going to remove the push pin and you're going to put a bit of glue on the back of that chain. You want to then secure it with a clothespin so that it stays exactly where it is and doesn't budge because once this contact cement glue is in place it dries honestly within about three minutes so just be careful that that beginning chain um, is exactly where you want it before you put that clothespin on. And the clothespin only makes sure that it doesn't shift around too much. I use both the push pins and the clothes pins just because I wanted to make sure that it had a good grip to the shade. So just put that pin on there and then make sure it's as close to the end of the shade as you can get it. And then basically I just continued going around about every five chains I would apply more glue. You, again you're doing it on that flat side of the chain so there's two edges of the jute that's going to have the adhesive and it generally sticks quite well to the lampshade especially if you're using something that has really good grip. So just keep going around gently pull your rope down it's not going to break because you have it secured by so many pins. Put on your glue Try not to get the glue on the rest of the rope and the shade like I just did. Uh, this is definitely prone to happen, but that's why it's important to have a clear glue so that you won't notice if you do make any mistakes like that. So from here on out, you're just going to keep going all the way around the shade three times until you have glue approximately every five chains. And I used clothespins only on the first layer of chain because mine were a bit smaller and I didn't really have the size to go up onto my second chain, but that seemed to do just fine. And then for the second and third rows, I just used pins to hold it in place. I let mine dry for a good couple of hours before I took the clothespins and the pins out. Um, your drying time though will depend on the type of adhesive that you use, so just read the label for that. 
Once you've waited the allotted amount of drying time, you can come back and remove all of your pins and your clothes pins. Make sure before you start doing this that you give the rope a little bit of a test to make sure that the glue's dry and that it is adhered on there nicely. The last thing you want to do is start removing it and have your rope fall off. So gradually go around, remove all of your pins, all of your clothes pins, and you're just about ready to set it up and enjoy your work. And now you get to enjoy your finished product. I put our lamps in our bedroom and we have a contrast wall at the head of our bed and it's done in Benjamin Moore's Chelsea Gray and I just love the way it looks with the jute rope and especially with the soft bedding beside. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you again.